Hey guys, hey! Welcome to a meal prep Sunday! So I just got done um, grating some a block of cheddar cheese. Yay! I am boiling some hard boiled eggs and I am starting to make a... Sorry, the kids are watching a monster truck movie. Um, I'm starting to make an egg bake. So now I've added in some frozen chopped spinach and cut up radish along with my chopped up portobello mushrooms. And now I'm going to add three eggs. I'm going to whip up three eggs, whisk that up, add that in, and I'll show you what's next. So I've cooked up my bacon. I crumbled it up. It is now on top. I've stirred up my three eggs and I added in minced onion, uh, garlic salt, Himalayan pink salt, and pepper. Stirred that all up and then I'm going to pour that into here. Alright, so I ended up adding a total of seven eggs because I used a bigger baking dish than the last time that I made this. And so then I just sprinkled some cheese on top. This is cheese that I shredded earlier in my meal prep. And now I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15-20 minutes or until it looks like it's done. At uh, 350. Next I'm going to be preparing a pizza casserole. So my first time using my spatulata. And I'm cooking up my sausage. Next up I'm making some cauliflower loaded baked cauliflower so I got some about six slices of bacon chopped up and cooking and I have some cauliflower steaming in the microwave I have my green onion chopped up and ready to go and then my cheese is waiting all right guys and here is the egg bake that I made I just took it out of the oven it looks really delicious I know those radishes are going to be nice and tender and they're going to remind me of potatoes. So that's why I put those in there. Look at how bubbly and gooey that cheese is. It looks so good. Can't wait for this. So here I have the cauliflower that I steamed. I added in half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sour cream, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of ranch seasoning salt, Himalayan pink salt, pepper. I think that's all the seasons I put in. I put in a tablespoon of chopped chives, uh, two tablespoons of crumbled bacon, and half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You can really use whatever cheese you like. And then I'm gonna mix this all together. All right, please don't mind this uh, weirdness. I don't have a small enough baking dish. I only have this and then my one that I was, er, that is so loud, I'm so sorry. I only have this one and then the one that I was making my egg bacon. So I just put the amount here and I could have, you know, double, tripled this recipe, but I'm the only one that will eat this. So I'm making this for the week for myself. Anyways, I layered that down into the pan and then I topped it with the remainder of the shredded cheese and the bacon and the chives. And I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 20 minutes at 370 degrees. Here's the loaded cauliflower, you guys. This looks so good. This, the bacon and the cheese all over it. I've already got it in my meal prepping container. Obviously, this is not, this is just the entire amount, not just one serving. So, this looks great. All right, guys. So, I have the pork sausage that I cooked up and drained. I layered it into the bottom of my casserole dish. I added half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and then one jar of the Rayo's bullet I don't know how to say that. Bolognese sauce? I just call it bologna sauce because it looks like bologna. Um, yeah, so I added one jar of that. Mixed it all well together. I'm going to put some Italian seasoning on top of this with some garlic salt. I really hope that my TV in the background is not too loud and I'll show you what's next in a second. All right, so I layered it with the rest of the shredded mozzarella cheese, which was another half a cup. And then I layered pepperoni on top and sprinkled some more Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna put this in the oven 
at 370 degrees for about mm, 10 to 15 minutes depending on when your cheese gets cooked. You can also put some foil on top if you don't like a crispy full, um, cheese. Also, if you aren't eating keto low carb, you could also like make some spaghetti noodles and mix that in, layer that in, that would be really good. And here it is. I took it out of the oven and it looks fabulous. Yummy. All right, guys, meal prep is over. So the kids have already eaten almost all of the strawberries. This was overflowing and this was two packets of strawberries that I prepped and cut up. Now they're almost gone. This is the grapes that I washed and took off the vine they will eat those like it's going out of style i had made 12 dozen hard-boiled eggs as you can see there's only six left because they are just little piggies um this is oh, my phone's going off it's kind of hard to do this one-handed this is the loaded cauliflower and that is so good and then here is the remainder of that egg bag. They each had this. We had it for brunch. And then the pizza casserole, I just, there was three pieces left after everybody had dinner. So I just sectioned that off and put it into meal prep containers that I will take for lunch during the week. And then uh, as always, my regular weekly is my um, romaine lettuce cut up and cleaned and um, soaked in cold water with distilled white vinegar and that's it guys that is my meal prep for the week I was gonna make some guacamole my avocados that I got from Aldi that were on sale are not ready yet so um, I was gonna make fish tacos but I decided I would rather just do that fresh and not meal prep it and then I have some chicken thighs that I will be making later in the week. But these will be good for sides, for breakfast, for just being able to reach in the refrigerator and have a healthy snack or a healthy meal ready and available. Got off the wire